looks like Stevie tried to groom my horse again. I had to brush out a huge tangle in his mane this morning all by myself. If someone's going to do something, she should at least do it right. That's what I always say. Then how come you did your buttons up wrong? Need your luck. I'll have to ask Drew to find me someone more responsible to groom my horse. You'll have to groom your own horse from now on. It, but my parents are paying you to do that. That's not the case anymore. Your father's trying to save money, so you'll have to pitch in. Are you telling me that I have to work? Just a few light stable chores. Oh. That's it. I'm ordinary. Did you complain to Drew? We talked. And? I'm working in exchange for Garnet's board. Whoa. Why? I have no choice. I'd never agree to work to ride here. Say bye-bye to the rest of your life. Christy, you're so young and naive. You're forgetting the benefits of work. Benefits? Are you feeling OK? Well, there's a certain satisfaction a person gets when she pays her own way in this world. It's called independence. You've obviously been brainwashed by your father. Because the truth is, Veronica, nobody really wants to work. You wanted to see me? Yes. Stevie, I need a favour. You know I'm always happy to help, Drew. Now, I know you might not be interested, but I could really use a hand. I want you to watch out for Veronica. Be a supervisor of sorts. Look, now, I know you guys don't always get along, but I need somebody who knows how to do the stable work properly. Red doesn't have the time to show around. So, will you do it for me? Sure, Drew. No problem. Where would you like us to start? You ought to be the responsible one now, Stevie. I know, Drew. You can relax. I'll do my best. Thanks. I'll talk to Veronica. Let her know you're in charge. I'm in charge? Yes. I've put the horses away. I've washed the ponies. What am I doing now? It's time to clean the stalls. Okay, we'll start by mucking up these stalls. It's part of your duties, Veronica. But why does she have to tell me what to do? Stevie's your supervisor now. She'll show you what needs to be done and help you learn how to do them. Mucking out stalls is one of the duties you'll do twice daily. Once when you get here and then before you leave. That sounds excessive. So, what do I do with it? Pick up the muck with the pitchfork and put it in the wheelbarrow. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sure you are. Ugh. You'll have to learn how to aim a little bit better, Veronica. Oh, I agree. This is not going to be easy. You seem to be getting the hang of it now. Veronica, where are you going? You haven't finished. It's none of your business. I am your supervisor. I'm going to the bathroom. I guess I can't stop you from following me, but there are some things that need to be done alone. Your new look is, uh, unique. 
Yeah, unique. Oh. How did this happen? Must have been that independent woman you're seeking. Very funny. Too bad you're up to your eyebrows, innit? There's this awesome sale on at the mall. 30% off designer labels. But I guess you can't make it. Hey, don't be silly. I can leave work anytime I want to. I'm not a slave. Mum's got the car outside. Just give me a minute to get changed. So, extra ice cream costs extra. Well, of course it does. Ice cream doesn't grow on trees, you know. Can't you put just a little bit more in and not charge us extra? Because a little bit isn't really extra. Extra is extra. Look, <clears throat> I can make it easy for you. If you haven't got the money now, I'll let you run a tap. Give us credit, you mean? You're regulars. I can trust you. I don't want to go into debt. Debt is bad. It's just a couple of milkshakes. Well, that's the way it starts. But before you know it, we'd be out for double malted. And Sundays with the lot, including fudge melt. We wouldn't be able to help ourselves. Just two plain milkshakes, thanks, Scooter. OK. Looks like you had a busy afternoon. Drew, my absence was unavoidable. The designer sales only happen once a year. But now I'm back and ready to work, so I'll just get changed into some other clothes. Veronica, in future you'll let Stevie know when you finished your work. You know what? I don't need to take this. Forget having to work. I've got other ways of making money. I've been meaning to sell garnet soon anyway. Sell garnet? You can't do that. What other choice do I have? She will so regret it. Are you sure? She loves that horse. In a Veronica sort of way. I've got to make her see sense. Why should we get involved? If not for Veronica, we should do it for Garnet. She's happy here. Well, I'd better stay out of it. She always does the opposite of what I say. You should talk to her, Lisa. She quite likes you. <laughs> She's got a funny way of showing it. <sighs> Still. I don't want you to make it any more difficult for me than it already is. You know I'm not meant for this kind of manual labour. <laughs> <laughs> You're so silly. Hey. I can't believe you would even think about selling Garnet. You two obviously love each other. I like Garnet very much, but love, that's a bit extreme. You won't be able to live with yourself if you do, Veronica. Well, horses are bought and sold all the time. There's nothing wrong with that. It's what horse people do. <sighs> Saying goodbye to a horse is not an easy thing to do. It's like losing a part of yourself. Don't worry. My father will buy me a new, better horse once he bounces back from his business problems. <sighs> if you were my horse, I'd never sell you. Hey, please, leave her alone. She needs to look her best for her buyers. <sighs> thought that selling a horse would be such a huge task. I think you're making it harder than it has to be. Oh, uh, no way. I'm only doing this to avoid working. I've already seen ten people about Garnet today alone. I know. You act like you're selling her, but you've turned down every offer to buy her. Your point is? Well, it seems like you really don't want to sell her. Well, I don't intend to sell Garnet to just anyone. I need to make sure that her next home will be up to her standards and that I get the best price for her. She is a model thoroughbred, after all. Well, just remember, you don't have to sell her. You can always keep working on at the stables. Daddy, I want you to call back the highest bidder and accept his offer to buy Garnet. Veronica, you're making a big mistake. Can't you see them on the phone? Yeah, yeah but you and Garnet were made for each other. You can't yeah. replace her. You can't see it, but we can. Daddy, I'm gonna have to call you back later. I've got somebody bothering me. 
You can save the lecture. Your pal Lisa already gave you that sermon. But did she tell you that working at the stables isn't all that bad? It can even be fun when you're working with your friends. So you really don't have to sell garnet. Why are you being so nice to me all of a sudden? I feel sorry for you. Oh, don't bother. But you're going through a tough time right now. It must be hard to know what the right thing to do is. I'm managing very well, thank you. Where did you get it again? On the street, I told you. I've never seen a scratch of wing card with three lemons. Isn't it usually three cherries? Who cares? Let's see what we've won. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're really great. I'm gonna miss you. Your new owner's a very lucky person. I can't be here when she comes to pick you up. So, I've got things to do, so I'll say goodbye now. I hope you have a great life, God. I really do. Be safe always. Triple. Triple flavouring and five extra scoops of ice cream. Make it eight. Eight? Well, why not go the other way? Just have ice cream with a bit of milk tipped over the top. Hey, we're paying customers. <clears throat> Talking about paying, can you afford this? We'll run a tab for now, but we'll have the money soon. A lot of money. What's the uh, secret of your success? We're into lemons. Oh. Is there money in lemons? Scooter, we're dying of thirst here. Hurry it up. We want it to be so thick you can't drink it with a straw. Oh, yeah. Hey, um, here's some money that you lent me for shopping the other week. Great. Think I'll head to the mall and spend this. Wanna come? How could you be so heartless? Huh? What's so heartless about going shopping? The money you're about to spend came from selling garnet. And? And my life's meaningless without her. I don't want your money, Veronica. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. We can go shopping. I'll buy you anything you want. <sighs> All I want is Garnet back. She's taking it harder than I ever imagined she would. Poor Veronica's taking the sale of Garnet very much to heart, isn't she? Let's face it, Auntie Liz. We won't be far behind her. We'll have to sell our horses too. Oh, Drew, has it come to that? There's a lot of people we owe money to. Can't let them down. And the banks? You know the banks. Won't lend you an umbrella on a rainy day, but throw them at you when it's fine. I take it that means we can't refinance. I've tried everything. I don't know, maybe Max can think of something. If he gets here in time. He's waitlisted on the next available flight. <laughs> what a gloomy homecoming for him. No, you did everything that could be done. Hi, guys. Look. I just thought I'd mention, if it's any help, I could work just for my board and keep and you could plough the money you save back into this place. I couldn't consider that, Red. You've always had such a big heart, Red. That is a very kind offer, but it's gone beyond that, I'm afraid. Really? Afraid so. Gee, I'm gonna miss this old place. We all will, Red.
sorry, Veronica. Yeah, same here. No, I mean, I'm sorry about all the rubbish I talked about work being beneath us. You know, it's funny. It wasn't until I started to take care of Garnet by myself that I realised how much I loved her. When I was just riding her and not taking care of her, I, I took her for granted. Yeah, I realised something too. I really, really like Red and he mucks out stools for a living. My whole attitude about work is way out of line. I guess we've both been pretty stupid. Tell you something else. Scooter works for his living as a waiter. He's a really good friend to you. You're lucky to have him. Can't stand to watch Veronica come up around the stables anymore. I thought I'd enjoy to see her suffer, but this is depressing. I miss Garnet too. We have to do something. The only thing that's gonna cheer her up is by getting Garnet back. So that's what we'll do. It's not gonna be that easy. The new owners don't wanna sell her. She's a top-notch horse, so they're not gonna let her go easily. Unless they get more for her than they paid. That's not gonna happen. What if Garnet wasn't a top-notch horse? What if something was wrong with her? Garnet's in top physical condition. A horse's condition can change like that. What do you mean? I think I'll get a double kind this time. An extra sprinkles. Yeah, me too. You girls are becoming my best customers. And we might be back tonight with our whole family. Our treat. You've already run up a tab of $22. Did you win the lottery? We did. Well, not the lottery, but we did win $200 on a lemon scratchy. A lemon scratchy? Can I see it? I found it. <laughs> Girls, let me tell you the good news. You now only owe me $20. You see, you've missed a very important point here. It's the decimal point, 2.00. Two dollars. We don't have any money. What are we going to do? Well, we could use some help in the kitchen. For a week. A week? It was just a bit of ice cream. And a malt. Ah, mm. Oh, hi, Veronica. What'll it be? Uh, actually, I've come to talk to you. Ah, uh, well, step into my office. Scooter, I've been very stupid. Well, that's something I know quite a lot about. I've sold Garnet. And I know I've done the wrong thing. It's, it's like I've lost a friend. Can you not try to get her back? Oh, no, my father offered to buy her back from the new owners, but oh, no luck. I, I shouldn't have done it. If there's nothing you can do about it, you've just got to move on. But, uh, I betrayed her. And, and she's always been so faithful to me. Don't beat yourself up, Veronica. It's not going to help. I'm, I'll, I'll never forgive myself. I just can't. Of course you can. You're too strong to give in to this. You always make me feel better, Scooter. Do I now? Well, how about that? So good to see you again, Max. Oh, same here, Mum. Welcome home, Max. It's good to be back. I wish it were under happier circumstances. Oh, well, we're still alive and we're still a family, right? 
There's the spirit. I'm sorry I couldn't have done more to save one hollow. Oh, look, you gave it your best shot, Drew. Now, I'll give it mine, and if that doesn't work well, we'll just have to bow to the inevitable. The world will keep on spinning, right? I used to look after Garnet back at Pine Hollow. This one is Garnet's favorite. I thought she might be missing it today. What's it for? Oh, she only needs it on cloudy days. Garnet has a better run if you warm up her hip for about 20 minutes before you ride. What's wrong with her hip? Uh, did the D'Angelo's not mention it? Mention what? It must have slipped their minds. <laughs> the problem isn't that serious. That's right. You just need to nurse it along. Take it nice and easy. I don't like what I'm hearing here. Did we say something we shouldn't have? No, young lady. I think you girls just did me a big favor. I'm going to give Mr. D'Angelo a call. You don't have to leave Pine Hollow because you don't have a horse here. You can ride the school horses. You can ride Bark. Christy, I can't. It's just too hard for me to be here right now with so many reminders of Garnet everywhere. You see, I'm even hearing her whinny. I must be going crazy. Veronica, I heard it too. It's Garnet. Oh, she's back. Oh, Garnet. Oh, I missed you so much. Did you guys do this? It was Stevie's idea. And your dad returned the check. Which he did in a flash. Thanks, Stevie. It was a really good idea of yours. That's fine. Actually, Garnet Stall could do with a clean Veronica. I'll get onto it straight away. I'll help. Drew, Mrs. Reg and I have tried everything, but I'm afraid we haven't been able to turn the situation around. But can't you just get another loan? Oh, well, I'm afraid that's the problem, Carol. We have too many loans as it is. So there's nothing anybody can do? It's too late. What we have to do is, is try to keep our spirits up. Look, it's a, it's a terrible blow, but we're all in one piece. We'll get over this somehow, and we'll, we'll find another place eventually. How long have we got, Max? Three weeks at best, but uh, there is a chance the mortgagee will want to move in before that. money somehow but isn't it thousands and thousands they need at least I'll go mad just sitting up and waiting for the end <laughs> what about holding a big sale of stuff a big sale yeah a rummage sale there's tons of stuff around we could sell for money <gasps> the old barn there's lots of cast offs and junk in there Hi, Christy. Red. It's a bit of a shock for all of us. Red, I'll miss you. <sighs> oh, Lord, this brings back memories. Look at all these old books. Max's great-grandfather was a mad, keen collector. He could never say no to anything old or interesting. Mm. There must be hundreds. It's good of you girls to go to so much trouble, but I'm afraid it won't save us from the banks. But we will make something, even if it's not very much. 
And it'll help you and Max set up somewhere else. It's no trouble doing something for you. You've done so much for us. Could you girls promise me something? Sure. What is it? Well, Pine Hollow's days may be over. But don't let the Saddle Club die. Never. We won't. The Saddle Club forever. <laughs> That's my girls. You okay? Terrible. It's not the end of the world, Christy. Isn't it? Some good things may come out of this. Like what? Well, maybe it's time for a change. You were probably getting too close to Red. What do you mean? You know what I mean. He's not very suitable. He suits me fine. You have let your standards slip very badly. You're going to wind up a very lonely old woman. I don't think so. Don't bet on it. Somebody nice will come along and you won't even notice. Because you've got your standards. <laughs> Do you reckon this is what growing up is like? Fun stops? I hope not. That means getting older really sucks. What are you guys doing? We're going to sell all this stuff and give the money to the Regnaries. Where'd you get all this? Max's great-grandfather loved hoarding stuff. <laughs> Actually, we're doing something too. We're going to make a videotape for Max and Mrs. Reg to remember Pine Hollow by. That's sweet. Make sure you don't leave that lying around anywhere. Everything comes back here before the sale. OK, bossy. <laughs> Look at this. This is so old. It seems too good to sell at a rummage sale. We should have it properly valued. Hi. What a pleasant surprise. I suppose you've heard. Yeah, I have. Sad. Yeah. Will you, uh, you know, stick around if Pine Hollow closes? Oh, I, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking of going back to Ireland to see my family. Oh. <laughs> you never talk about your family. Well, there's not much to tell. They're pretty run of the mill. Two parents, one of either sex, and a brother and sister. What sort of work does your father do? Oh, he doesn't work. Oh, he's on welfare. Actually, um, <clears throat> here's a photo of my mother and father. Mother is a gardener? Well, more like a weeder, she says. You know, the, the kids at the stables will miss you. A lot. Do you want to go on a picnic with me, Veronica? I'm going to miss this place. We're still OK, aren't we? Me and you? Because I really like you. Yeah. I just wish things could stay the way they were.
We just found it in an old trunk. Well, let me see it. <clears throat> um, have you got everything you want, Carol? Thanks, Scooter. Okay. So, what do you think? Well, it is 19th century, but it was a popular edition. Is that good or bad? It simply means it's not rare, and it's the rarity of a book which gives it its value. So how much is it worth? 80 to 100 dollars. Oh, I thought it'd be worth a lot more than that. Well, I could stretch that to 120 dollars. Look, thanks for the trouble, but I'll have to ask my partners whether we can accept this. Do you have any other volumes at Pine Hollow you might like me to value? Stop by tomorrow. You can look over the other books and I'll give you an answer on this. Splendid. See you tomorrow. I've got some bad news, Lisa. I've got a buyer lined up for Prancer. But Drew, why? I was offered a sum for all the school horses, together, as a lot. If I split them up, the buyer isn't interested. I've ridden Prancer for two years. My buddies. We look after each other. If there was any other way I could do this, I would. Believe me. Oh, hey. Hi. You collect stamps, don't you? Yeah, I do. How do you find out how much a stamp is worth? I'll miss you for as long as I live, Prancer. Oh, Prancer, I'll never forget you. Lisa? We just heard. We're so sorry. What am I gonna do? I can't believe you came out with me. Yeah. I'm a bit shocked myself. <laughs> We've got such different outlooks. Yeah. Money's not important to you, is it? Ah. Love over gold. What does that mean? Like my mother says, love is better than money. Love over gold, Veronica. It's got to be. Don't you think? Uh, I don't know. Do you want a dip? A what? Do you want to go for a swim? Of course not. I haven't got my costume. I asked you to get wet. Now go to the ball. Come on. Don't you dare. Uh, oh. Stop it. <laughs> don't. No. No, no please. Stop Come it. On. Don't. Uh, Scoot. Veronica. <laughs> You are so stupid. <laughs> There's no help for it. That's the way I was born. Well, kiss me, stupid. No. I won't kiss you, stupid. But I will kiss you. Veronica! I uh, got the stamp catalog you wanted. Oh, there's so many of them. Yeah, there's over 10,000 entries. for a hack to say goodbye to the trails? Just 
leave her. We're not up to her standards. Hey guys, let's have a circle hug. We all look so miserable. This is really nice. Go on, Christy. Come on, Christy. Carol, have you seen Veronica? Uh, no, she left in a half. Ah, she's a deep one, that girl. Oh, that's a pretty old book you got there. Yeah, I was hoping it was valuable. Does it look valuable to you? What? Not my field, I'm afraid. But why don't you go online and put it up for auction? Then you'll find out exactly how much it's worth. Say what? Come on, I'll show you. Everyone here is so horrible to me, except you. <laughs> well, looks like the Saddle Club have finally got their own way. Turning Christy against me, like they've always wanted to. If I sell that stamp, I'll be able to buy my own stables. And I can choose who can join and who can't. I may let the Saddle Club join if they beg me. But I don't think I'll ever let Christy join. <laughs> How much for the specimens? Oh, Ten dollars or the nearest offer. Fair enough. Oh, hi. I met Carol yesterday. I'm the dealer. She said you've got some books for sale. You want books? You've come to the right place. Right, we've fed in all the info, so now we just sit back and wait. <laughs> You're not just a pretty face, are you, Scooter? Oh, I'm a pretty face as well. Will you be long? This is important, so you guys better wait. Wow. Look at that. Oh, how many zeros is that? And you tell me not to leave books lying around. And there's another one. <sighs> oh, now that's more like it. I'm prepared to pay $250 for that volume. $250. Maybe we should wait till Carol gets back. Look, it's double what I offered her yesterday, and I am in rather a hurry. $250. Take it or leave it. 
thousand dollars? I'd accept it. Where's the atlas? How could you go wrong? Okay, it's a deal. Stop! Don't sell it! That book is worth eight thousand dollars. It seems to me I'm wasting my time here with you children. I found the stamp. If they found it, they wouldn't share it with me. They're always leaving me out. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. And with all that money, I won't need friends. Love over gold, Veronica. It's gotta be. Don't you think? $8,000. That is fantastic. Is that enough to save Pine Hollow? Bless you, dear. We need more than that, but it'll go towards paying the traders in town. Well done, Carol. It was Scooter's idea. He's <laughs> a smart guy. Oh, it's an Irish thing. <laughs> Max, what's wrong? Just had a call from the bailiff. They just received the court order they've been after. I'll be here to chain up the gates before nightfall. Oh, that is awful. Chain up the gates? Can I do that? I'm sorry, everybody. We fought the good fight, but this is the end for Pine Hollow. It's all over. No, Max. It's not all over yet. Phil, is this a bourbon coat of arms? Wow. Yeah, it is the bourbon coat of arms. It's worth squillions. Well, well whose is it? It's your great-grandfather's. Good old Gramps. <laughs> hey, everyone. Pine Hollow is saved. It's great. Well done, You're a hero. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Veronica, I rang me folks. They'd like to meet you. They've invited us to Ireland for the holidays. Oh, but, uh, will, will there be enough room? Well, there's 50 of them. What? <laughs> You saw how big our house is in the photo. That's your house? One of them, yeah. <laughs> but you said your father was unemployed. Uh, no. He doesn't have to work. He owns half of Dublin. Half of Dublin? Well, it's not a very big city. Uh, uh, are you rich, Scooter? Now that I have you, I am. More, you know. Really? 50% off. Well, what are we waiting for? Who won? We all did. The 
Saddle Club forever. The Saddle Club forever.